Hey everybody, welcome to RemTV and welcome back to that would be the show 19 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 45. If you're not caught up, look for the playlist in my channel. And if you're new, subscribe. Um, and yeah, here we go. So here we are for the September 9th game. Um, we are be playing the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's going to be Dallas Keuchel versus Zach Godley. Um, as I said, we're six and a half games over the Nationals. Um, so I think I'm just going to sim the last game of it. I mean, I'm going to be only playing the last game of every series. There's six series left, unless things get interesting. So let's do a do a quick manage here. And well, look at this. Um, we're going to be continuing the Triple A team is apparently doing really well. Keiko on the mound. Let's give Jeff you know, a day off. Let's put Rosario there. Seem to be P. Alonzo. Let's put in Mr. Dominic Smith. Um, I don't like Larry up there, man. Larry's not doing too well up there. Um, Dominic Smith. Let's move everybody up. Alright, let's go. There you go, 3 on home by Todd Frazier, nice. So it gives us a little cushion. 2 on home by Conforto, I'll take it. Let's go. Oh boy, Sassfist, one run scores. Uh oh. Alright, they scored one, that's okay. So home run by Rosario. This is a home run derby here, man. Cespedes with a single. Two runs scored by Double Ray Ramos. Wow. This is definitely nope. Oh, giving us all home run. That's okay. Pitch and change. Let's put in Lugo. Really, Lugo? Change. It's been a little bit Let's just get some quick outs out. Of course. Of course. Okay, so Todd Frazier, the player of the game, with a three run home run bang, two for three. Dallas Keiko gets his 15th win. Next up is Michael Walker. Uh, going for back to back wins. Let's see what we got. You gotta fix this in the main lineups. Todd Frazier, you need a day off. Um, I'm gonna put in McNeil on third. I'm gonna put Rosario again on shortstop. Um, let's see who else, needs, who else needs a day off. You, Ramos, need a day off. So does Cespedes, so let's put in. Uh, Gomez. I think this should be worked out. I just gotta worry about the order of everybody here. Kind of a weak lineup, to tell you the truth. There you go. Oh, I feel like I have a home run. Come on, guys. That is not a good game from Walker today. Defensively, we're kind of dead too. Jeez. Oh, I didn't mean for Waka too. Damn it. Uh, all right, one run scored. Okay, single by uh, McNeil. Pitching change. Let's put in hmm. Shad Green. Alonzo, come on, buddy. One, fly out. Come on, guys. <sighs> Three. 
Solo home run that ties things up by Carlos Gomez. Wow. Solo home run, it's a walk off. The Mets went 3 2. Holy crap. Back to back home runs for the Mets, and we win 3 2. Okay. Last game before I actually play one is going to be Zach Wheeler versus Artie Lewicki. I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, so let's get it here. Zach Wheeler not pitching too well recently, but. Um, I need to move these lines. I keep forgetting to do it. Um, yes, there. Okay, I think we're good. Damn it, Paul Wheeler. Nothing. Come on, guys. Let's go do something, man. Not you guys. All right, there you go. So uh, Frazier. Come on, guys. Solo home run that ties things up. That's Ramos with a solo. Okay, let's do a pitching change. Great Tori, my man out there, man. Let's uh, uh, hit. Let's put in them. Oh, I need a right. That's right here, I think. Rosario, I think I'll put him in. Singular Rosario, look at that, see? Neil, damn it, Gomez, single, all right, from Pete, there you go, Pete Alonso with an RBI single, that puts the Mets up 2-1 to one here in the bottom of the eighth, here's a little for Cespedes, grand slam by Jonas Cespedes, and that makes things 6-1 to one. here at the bottom of the eighth. They just batted it around. Holy crap. All star with a Med Rosario's pinch hit and Wow. Wow, they're still going. Uh, okay, pitching change. Let's put in Justin Wilson. Just to just get these three outs and call it a day. The Mets win eight to one. We score seven in the eighth inning. Holy crap. Uh, okay. So next game we're going to play is with Jacob deGrom against Zach Greinke. It's going to be another tough pitching matchup. Um, if you guys watched my last video, Aaron Nola wiped us out, man. Um, but anyway, we're going to be having Jacob deGrom versus Zach Greinke, as I said. deGrom looking for his 16th win. Greinke looking for his 14th. So this should be interesting. And uh, I'll see you guys in the city. Great slider One, two really to LaCastro. So Down swing and a slider. That is out number one. Now a swing and a a strike out number one for the ground. The the Go up the middle. Base hit. Jeff McNeil to start the game the for the Mets. One and two to Lamb. Down swing and a two seam. That's another strikeout for Jacob DeGrom, number two of the game. Doing two to Escobar, two outs. Down swing with another two seam. That's the end of the inning. Let's see how clutch Jed could be. And it lands, it lands! And now as the base is loaded for Todd Frazier with one out here at the bottom of the second. I was unsure if that was going to land cleanly, if the third baseman was going to catch it, but it did. Right over his shoulder for the base hit, Jed Lowry with a big base hit. That's going to be a base hit. That's going to be a really big base hit. That's going to send the runner from first all the way home. Let's play to the plate. Oh, he's gone down. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but that's two runs. 
by Todd Frazier, so it's two nothing. But an out recorded as Jed Lauer is gunned down at the plate. One and two to Avila. John Cena with a curveball, another striker for Jacob Degrom. That is number four in the game already. Oh, I don't know. What, oh, I guess he was trying to catch it, but that's back-to-back -back base hits. So we have runners on second and Nemo on first. That's a shot. By Lowry, deep center field, and it's out of here. I'm not sure if it went into the apple or over it, but regardless, that is a solo home run by Jed Lowry. Deep, deep center field. What a shot. And it seems like batting later in the lineup is beneficial for Jed Lowry. He couldn't really bat at the number two spot. Take a look at a replay here. Boom. Thing inside, <laughs> I think it went inside where the apple is. Two and two to Escobar. Another K. Jacob DeGrom continues his usual ways and mows everybody down. Ooh, what a flip. Oh, I thought I had the, uh, the hit and run going, but apparently not. What a double play. Flipped it backwards. Got McNeil at second. And got Nemo at first. What a play. Fancy pants over here. Oh, no way. That's a two-run shot for Peralta, and that makes things three to three. Come on, DeGrom. There you go. That's a base hit by Pete Alonso. No one's going to round second. He's going to go to third, and he's going to be safe. Heads up play for Brandon Nimmo to go into third base as Pete Alonso gets a base hit here. That should be enough for a sacrifice. And go. He's safe at home, so the Mets take the lead 4 to 3 here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Start warming up Diaz. All right. Escobar down to his last strike. He got him swinging. Ball game over, and the Mets win four to three. And the Mets were able to come up with a last run in the eighth inning, thanks to a single by Alonzo and also the sacrifice for Michael Conforto. Jed Lowry, the player of the game, two for three game, the home run, Chad Green gets the win, Diaz gets the save. Oh man, it's just thanks that DeGrom gave up those three runs in the six as he had himself a heck of a game before that. Oh, but that is a sweep uh, for the Mets sweeping Arizona. Uh, the next series we're going to have is going to be a tough series. We're we'll facing the Dodgers who are 98 and 50. We're at 89 and 57. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget, to, don't forget to click the like button. Leave any comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe. And uh, hope you have a great day. Take it easy and peace.